In this video, we are going to learn about multiplication. Now, multiplication is basically taking two numbers multiplied together. What does that really mean to multiply? Well, multiplication is the process of adding the same number. Notice how the same number repeatedly many times. So we're adding the same number again and again and again many times. To illustrate this example, we have 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Well, that's only four times. That's easy. We can do that in our head, right? 3 plus 3 is 6, plus another 3 is 9, plus another 3 is 12. That's easy. But what happens when you have to add 3's 100 times? That would take forever for us to write, right? So we use multiplication to write it very quickly and to do the math very efficiently. So instead of writing 3, 3, 3, 3, we have 3 times 4 because we're adding 3 times. That's why the term times is used in multiplication or multiply. So now that you understand how multiplication works, we are going to do some example problem and we are going to understand some of the key term about multiplication. Well, in this case, we have 3 is added repeatedly 4 times. We have 3 times 4. But there are specific terms that you need to know about multiplication. That is, the number that multiply each other, like 3 and 4, to form an answer, which is 12. Those numbers, 3 and 4, they are called factors. So 3 and 4 are factors that make up 12. Now, the answer resulted from multiplying between factors, in this case, 3 and 4, are called products. So in this case, I'm going to ask you this one question right here. What is the product between 3 and 4, which is 12? Or in this case, can you give me an example of two factors that give us a product of 12, 3 and 4? See how that works? So a factor multiply another factors to form a product. Can we have more than two factors? Yes, you can multiply multiple numbers, and you are going to learn that in later math classes. So now, what you can do is the most important thing that you can do for yourself is that you need to memorize or understand. The best thing you can do is memorize this timetable. This will save you a lot of embarrassment when you go to middle school and high school. Because you don't want to use your fingers and draw a line just to multiply. You want to do this quick, okay? Because the quicker you are at multiplying this basic number, and all you have to do is memorize this table. And we have a practice timetable for you to memorize this, okay? Do yourself a favor. Understand how the timetable works. And then memorize it so that we can use in later advanced math. And math become a lot more fun for you. For example, let's look at this example. It's very basic. Drag the correct factor. So now we have the term factor, right, that make the product. So what are the factors? The factors are over here and the products are here. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 16. And what am I talking about, correct factors? Well, we're not going to drag. We're going to fill them in. In this case, we notice how this is 2 right here, right? So 2 times what will give us 2? So we go to, you either look at this one or this one. It doesn't really matter. These are factors right here. And right here, this column is also factors. So right here, and right here, these are factors, okay? And all we have in here are the products between the factors. Okay, so let's make this plural, okay? Plural form. Now, for example, what is 2 times 2? We have 4. What is 4 times 5? We got 20, okay? So that's how we use a timetable. So let's do an example problem. We have 2 times what number will give us 2? So 2 is right here. You can use either one. Just choose one. 2 times what number will give me 2? So I'm going down. Here are my 2. That's easy. Oh, 2 times 1. Let's see how that timetable works. Let's try another one. 2 times what will give me 4? Well, that's pretty easy. Going down. 2. Here's 4. 2 times 2 give me 4. Can I try it this way instead? Well, 2 times what will give me 6? Here's my 2 right here. Going across. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, here's the 6. So 2 times 3 give me 6 right there. And what about 8? Same thing. Keep going. 2 times 4 give me 8. 
What about two times what will give me 16? Oh, it's getting larger. So I can go through this way. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, 16 right here. Well, two times eight give me 16. So if you can look at this and understand, if you memorize this, this will save you so much time in the future, okay? Because multiplication is the heart of advanced math in high school and middle school. Now let's try another problem. Let's do number five. So five, okay? So again, these right here are factors. Or factors, how about that? And these are factors. And right here, these in here are the product. Resulting from multiplying between the two factors. Five. I'm going to look at this five right here. Five. Five. Five times one number will give me five. Going down until you see five. Oh, right there. One. Five times one number will give me ten. Going down. Oh, five times two. And five times what number will give me fifteen? Right there. Three. And five times what number will give me twenty? Oh my goodness. So easy, isn't it? Now you know why you need to memorize this timetable. And of course, five times what will give me 35? Keep going, keep going, keep going. 35. There you go. Seven. Boom. Isn't that easy? How about, let me give you an example problem out of nowhere. Give me a factor that this. How about this? Seven times what number will give you 49? Okay. So let's try this way. Seven. Keep going until you see 49. There you go. 49. Isn't that easy? Seven. How about another one? Let's make this right here. How about what we have here? Blank time what? How about six will give us 48? Let's look at six right here. Remember, either one works, right? Six right here. Keep going to see 48. Well, that's eight. What if I change this around? What if I ask you seven time? 9 will give you what? Well, go to 7, and then go to 9, going down. What do we have? 63. How about 11 times 12 will give us what? 11 right here, and go all the way to 12. We have what? 132. You see how we have to memorize this timetable, because when you go to middle school math or high school math level, you are doing a lot of math problems, and the one thing you want to do is knowing your timetable. So let's go and check our answer. Okay, so 5 times 1, boom, you go to 5. 5 times 10, 5 times what will give me 10? 2. 5 times what will give me 15? 3. 5 times what will give me 20? 4. 5 times what will give me 35? 7. Boom. Voila. And now let's try another one. Oh, let's try something else different. We did that already. How about six for you? Look at this. Six times what will give me six? Well, one. Six times what will give me twelve? Two. Six times what will give me eighteen? Three. Six times what will give me twenty-four? Four. Six times what will give me six? Six times what will give me thirty-six? Six. Now do you understand why we have to memorize this timetable? Because we can do math more efficiently and faster. So if you like this table and you want to practice more, we actually have a timetable for you to practice on this website right here. Let me show you. Timetable. Right there. And you just practice and practice till you memorize this. Okay. So, and you can actually time yourself how fast you can do it. Okay. So once you practice this so many times, this becomes second nature to you and your math class will become a lot easier and easier over time. And again, if you like this video, make sure you click subscribe and give us a thumb up. And of course, feel free to share this video with others. And we'll see you on another videos on how to do math. We'll see you next time.